Yo, what's up guys, your boy again with another video for you. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your W8, meaning your tax document on CPA grid. So you stick with me as I walk you through step by step on how it is done. Alright, so this is a simple process and I'm not going to take time in this video because I'm going straight to the point. Now, the reason why I'm doing this now is because somebody asked me in my previous video which means which is this video in particular in my previous video someone asked me in the comment section below as you can see let's read this together what's up bro i'm sure you have made withdrawal from cpa grade before now my question is how did you bypass or set up your tax form or w8 as it is called as with nigerians now in case you don't know me i'm eo godwin the CEO of N Money Delight Empire, and this is N Money Delight channel. And I'm a Nigerian, and maybe they have stars like this person included this. So this method I'm going to show you is based off of those of us who are not based in the United States. Okay, so you stay with me and listen to what I replied in. Yeah, read what I replied in. Okay. What I replied in is this, I said, I did not bypass it, I did not bypass it, I actually filled the form, right? And that's what I want to show you. And he went further and he said, so please, can you make a video on how you went about it, how to go about the W8 tax form, right? So that's what I'll be showing you right here in this video. Hey guys, your boy here, in case you have not liked the video, please smash the thumbs up now. And in case you have not subscribed, also smash the subscribe button and the bell notification icon close to it. What it does is that you get notified by YouTube whenever I upload videos just like this. So, you want to make money on CPA marketing, this is the right channel for you. You want to learn how to make money with CPA, this is the right place to be. Alright, so I'm going straight to the video. Okay, so guys, I want us to watch the intro before we dive right in. Welcome back. All right, so guys, here we are on CPA Grip. So in case you've made money on CPA grip and you want to make your withdrawal, you'll be you, it will be required of you to fill in your tax form, whether you are in the United States or you are outside the United States, you are still going to be required to fill the tax form. And that's what I'll be walking you through in this video. So uh, is, this video is going to be very brief. So what you can, what you will need to do is you go to your account settings, right? You need to go to your account settings. And once you go to your account setting, then you should be able to see a particular field where you need to put in your form. As you can see, I'm well verified. I'm verified here on CPA Grip and so on, right? And what you can see right here is this. You can see that uh, it has two forms, right? Tax documents. This is what we're interested in. Tax documents, all right? So as you can see, I filled the 8w form right i filled this form and i updated this form around the september and i believe i did a video that day that was why it's been updated like this okay i updated it then uh, i've done this kind of video before but it seems that some people did not watch it i don't know why they have they have not made money yet but in case you have not made money yet you want to make money go get a cp delight course I'm going to end the case like that right all right so here is what you can do is what you can do is as you can see this you can see w9 and w8 now two things if you are in the united states you just have to fill the w9 form now let's open that up so that i can show you how it looks like so as for those of us in the united states this is how it looks like your name will be here your business name will be here if the business name is different from your name of which it may not right now you just have to choose your account type you need to choose the category 
now this is individual and i believe that's what you should put right there all right so if liable does if you have a company you go ahead and enter the tax number clarification number there and here it is you just fill in your details your city your state and your zip code and that should be it then another thing is your social security number is needed for those of us in the united states and your ein number which is your employer identification number Update it so now for those of us in the uh, in outside us like those of us in nigeria in africa in india and so on you all you need to do is you click on this update w it's international right so you just have to fill in the form almost the same thing but you just have to follow me now you put in your name here godwin eo that's my name you put in your country of uh residence country of citizenship so if you are in india put in india if you are in south africa put in south africa currently i'm in nigeria that's why I'm, i put in nigeria now your permanent resident address which is your street name and they said do not use a p.o box right so you just put in your street name and that should be it the town or city that you are in this is where i'm in currently the state or province i'm in delta state and your address is your postal address in case you don't know it what you can do you go to google and type in for instance if i'm in accra ghana i will just have to put in accra z code right so the accra zip code is going to pop up and this is the zip code and this is what i'm going to put right here in this particular region so for instance if i'm in india if you are located in india you can come here and type in india then your state you can put the state at the front and it's going to show up on google so all you can do is you can come here this is not it it's not here all right what is india's five digit zip code so basically once it shows up you just have to copy that just the like the example i did and to come here and paste that again please if you are liking the video please do like the video and if you are enjoying it comment if you have any question or any you know any video um, idea you have just let me know in the comment section and i will just like in this case now your mailing address if only if it's different from the one above which is if it's different from the one you use to create your account now you just have to put in your city the city of the mailing address the state of the mailing address and zip code so you can leave all of this stuff blank leave them blank leave number four blank and go straight to number five now you are not in the united states and what you should do is you type click just click on this na meaning you don't have it right and number six go to number six number six is foreign tax identification number we don't have it neither so you are going as you can see here it says it's optional so we're going to skip that also now your reference number this number is what is given to you by cp grip as you can see right here on the top you can see that's the number right so your date of birth that's what you are going to put here make sure is the correct date of birth don't forge any of these guys just follow what you are seeing on the screen and improve on it all right and that's part one and the part two is you like the video the part two is as you can see this is the title claim of tax charity benefit for chapter three purpose only see instructions and it is the instruction i'm giving you right now so you don't need to see the instruction now number nine says I hereby I certify that the beneficial owner is a resident is a resident of within the meaning of the income tax. We don't have it, so we're going to leave it empty. 
treaty between the United States and that country. We don't have it. We are not in the United States. We are going to leave it. So go straight to number 10. Special rates and conditions. If applicable, see instructions. You don't have to, guys. The beneficial owner is claiming the provision of article and paragraph. Just leave all of those things. Stop blank. And scroll down to part 3, which is the certification. Right? Certification. So if you want, you can read this. But I, for one, I did not read this. <laughs> I did not read this, guys. So capacity in which you are acting, you just type in self. Okay? Type in self. Make sure you type it. Type self. S E L F. Self. Right? As you can see, this is today's date as of when this video is being created. Alright? So if I update this, it's going to change to that date. Right? So signature of beneficial owner. So your signature, remember, this is an online signature. What you can do is all I did was to put in my name. Right? So you just type in your name. For instance, this is my name. Just type in your name. Right? You are not going to use this again. If you just need this for verification. And once you are done, you just click on update. Once you click on update, then that should be it. I've already updated mine, so I'm not going to click on update. Alright? So, that's a simple way to fill in this your form. Alright guys, so in case you enjoyed that video, don't forget to like the video. I already showed you now exactly how you can fill in your tax form to receive payment from CPA Grid. Alright, so in case you have any video idea, let me know in the comment section below and I'm going to reply. Alright, so thank you very much. Please, in case you want to learn more on CPA, go check the CPA Delight course or watch my full channel playlist. You are going to learn a lot. Thank you very much and remain blessed. Peace.